they go sharks. Some believe they could be the fastest sharks on Earth because science has barely scratched the surface of the mako shark's true capabilities. Until now. A team of shark research scientists are launching a comprehensive new study into the secret lives of these amazing predators. Greg and his team will use cutting-edge technology to prove just how fast they really are. This is the shark eye. It attaches to the dorsal fin and is equipped with front-facing and rear-facing cameras. But the key feature is a built-in speedometer that for the first time ever will clock the top speed of a Mako. Now the device will fit firmly on its large dorsal fin. Be careful, Jess. Get it as far forward this time as you can. Oh, no. OK, that's good. Shark eye is hot, guys. Wait, 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 free, free, free. Got it. Oh, there he goes. There, there he goes. goes. There he goes. It's going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Good All right. Job, Great job. Job. Beautiful. Great job. Awesome. Awesome. Over the next 24 hours, the shark eye will record every burst of speed. Soon, the world will know just how fast these sharks can go. The shark eye sensors clocked multiple bursts of speed, topping out at an incredible 42 miles per hour. The greatest mystery that make those sharks is we just don't know anything about them and what they do. So this is some of the groundbreaking research which will shed light on those behaviors. Although much remains a mystery about the Mako shark, one thing is certain. These powerful yet graceful predators are rulers of their domain. In Hualin, Taiwan, shark researchers Dave Ebert and Paul Clerken had an unsuccessful night trying to find the rare megamouth shark. Very little is known about this giant alien shark, but if Paul and Dave succeed in finding and tagging one, that will all change. We're back out here, second night on the water looking for Mega Mouth, and uh, I know I was really optimistic about seeing one last night and totally bummed that we didn't get one. But tonight, the tides have changed for Paul and Dave, literally. Normally here, the current flows from south to north, and right now it's flowing from north to south. This stir stirs up all the nutrients, which means we know there's food in the water for Mega Mouth. It's out there, and it's feeding, and we just can all we can do is hope that it's in our nets. To the amazement of everyone on board, a Mega Mouth is in the net. We just got a Mega Mouth, so for the first okay. time ever, ever. Okay. This is the first time ever that scientists have successfully located a Mega Mouth in its natural habitat. We're going to tag it, okay. take the data, and then we're going to see if we can get this thing out. Be super careful. Okay. It's in, it's good. The tag's in? Yeah, yeah, the tag's in. Okay. Come on. For Dave and Paul, they have accomplished the nearly you. impossible, finding and tagging the rarest shark on the planet. Yeah! yeah baby. <laughs> Can we cut the net to get yeah. it out? So we're going to go from knowing nothing about Mega Mouse to knowing a whole ton about Mega Mouse. Is it swimming off? Swimming off? Yeah. Good. That's good. Swimming away. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Yeah, man. Awesome, man. Way to go, dude. Uh, 